In early 2009, when our country was facing huge financial challenges, I began to realize that there were other serious problems on the horizon. The parts for the first sound healing device that I had introduced in the U.S., the Sima 1000, were becoming obsolete. In addition, I had lost my manufacturer. I wasn't prepared for technology to change so quickly, nor had I anticipated that some of the rest of the business aspects were going to fluctuate. With the potential that sound therapy had to help people, I couldn't believe that someone wouldn't want to manufacture my device. My path ahead was unclear and my nights were filled with fitful sleep. Finally, in the midst of it all, there was one night that held the most amazing answers for me. It was part of my spiritual practice before closing my eyes to ask for higher knowledge and understanding. I would often feel that there was a guardian, perhaps more than one, listening to me. As I drifted off to sleep, I heard the Sima frequencies, lots of them. I followed the sound gliding and floating in the darkness. Then, appearing directly in front of me, there were five interspersed cymatic images. They sparkled and reflected their own light. It was a dream of pure joy. like looking at crystals through a microscope, but seeing them from the inside out in their purest forms. The lacy patterns played over and over again in front of my eyes and traveled through my being. Then I awoke abruptly with my heart pounding. I had hoped that the dream was a message for me, but I couldn't seem to manifest the next step forward. While I was trying to believe there was a rebirth in the future for my product, I returned to the wisdom of the Chinese medicine tenants I had learned to love and trust for my own health. Then the answer came in the form of a vision. I saw the five elements of Chinese medicine, wood, fire, earth, metal and water, each in globes filled with layers of knowledge and information. Each one created a pentagonal pathway, revealing a five-pointed star shape. This vision made sense to me on multiple levels. Then suddenly, the shape of the new device came into view. It would be a plate of sorts that could generate healing frequencies. The letters A-M-I appeared. What they stood for was spoken aloud to me, Acoustic Meridian Intelligence. The sounds would be the 750 commutations that Dr. Manners had given me to work with. The AMI 750 was born.